Hello and welcome to another new construction home tour. Today we're going inside plan 3503 by TriPoint Homes in Aurora Highlands. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tori Drake. I'm a local Denver realtor who does a ton of work in the new construction space. So that means if you are considering to purchasing a new construction home in the area, I'd love for you to leverage the relationships I have built through doing as much work as I've done with these builders and these sales reps. I cannot make any promises on the internet. However, I do have quite the track record of getting great deals and incentives for my clients because of my relationships and experience we're going to go ahead and jump into the video if you hit like and subscribe that'd be awesome let's go ahead and jump in all righty here is the exterior of 3503 hopefully the wind isn't too loud it's being a little quieter right now give you guys a quick there's not a whole lot of exciting things to see but i'll give you a quick little glimpse of the community for highlands even though you can't really see a lot right now from where we're at. These are all models from TriPoint. I've got videos. All of them are filmed. So feel free to check all those out on my channel. This has a very dramatic walk up with these big stone pillars that I really like. It gives a nice, really just dramatic pop and feel to it, but still warm and inviting in the same in a, in a somehow as well. All right. Now, right out of the gate and not going into a long hallway, it feels really nice to have those windows on the other side. So you don't, you don't feel like you're walking into like anything tight um, or small. By having this hallway and the windows at the end of the hall right away, it opens the space up. Even though you're not walking into a big wide space, um, it doesn't feel smaller or anything like that. Like you're stepping into a small space because the windows are down there, which I always appreciate. Got an office space right off the front door, flex space. I will say with this wide frame, it'd be challenging to get a, you got, it'd be a little challenging to get a door on that, but you know, not impossible by any means, no big deal. Okay. Wow, that was a, that was a long, long monologue just to walk, <laughs> walk down the hallway. A nice little half bath right off of the entryway as well. So if you're using the office or you make that the gym, whatever you use it for, you got a bathroom right there for you, which is always very, very nice. Now, before we go explore the living room and kitchen and all that good stuff and upstairs, we're gonna go real quick into the basement. Since it's unfinished, we're just gonna be down here for a quick second. Just wanna give you a quick feel for it, and we'll run back up. That is an unfinished basement. All right, might be a little shaky for a second. I'm not gonna be as delicate as I just walk up the stairs. I lose my breath every single time. Freaking Colorado elevation. Okay. Now, garage um, right off here. They're using it as storage. I'm not going to open these garage doors. Um, we got, you know, possibility to make this a bit of a mudroom going on here and then a coat closet. Now, the living room. A lot of cabinet space, very cool. I'm always a fan of a nice big wide sink. You would be surprised at how many builders put small narrow sinks. Lennar, I love you as a builder. This is TriPoint Homes, but Lennar, I do love you as a builder, but your sings are quite small. Don't sue me, Lenar. You're great. I've got a lot of happy clients with you. Good size patio space. I appreciate having a design overhead. Looks nice. Good attention to detail. I 
and then those doors slide all the way open. I mean, come on, on a, sun, on a nice sunny day, it's not windy like today, having those wide open, these big high ceilings, all the light coming in, very, very pretty. By the way, guys, if you're not familiar with Aurora Highlands as a community and everything being built here, definitely check out my community tour of it, where I tell you everything you should know, because there is a whole lot happening with Aurora Highlands. Water park, shopping center, there's a lot. And I go, I go into all the details in that video. <laughs> Good loft space. I like this. I like it when a loft is just... Uh, very squared off, makes it really simple to decorate. You know how to set it up. You got two guest bedrooms here, guest bath, primary. We're gonna start off, we'll check out the guest bath. We'll go right here in front of it. Got our laundry room right here, off all the bedrooms. Always nice to have it on the main level. Pretty rare for a new build not to have that anymore, but still very much so appreciated. Put some, could put some shelves in there, some extra space. All right, guys, drum roll please, where the door would be, boom. So we're gonna open the door, come in here, and you have a, you have a the ensuite bath before you even get into the, get into the bedroom. All right, that's me. If you guys are liking the video, hit like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks so much. It is a tight bathroom. It has ever, I mean, obviously it's got, you know, enough space to be functional and work. It's on the tighter side for sure. They definitely allocated more of the square footage to the living room by having that dining room space. Which, you know, it comes down to personal preference, but I'd rather more square footage in the actual living area. I will say though, having the closet inside the bathroom is nice because then here, sleeping, everything like that, you don't have to go across you know, closet over there, then bathroom over here, and then back and forth if you need changes or anything like that. You can have everything you need right in there. So that is a bit of a smart design. And guys, that concludes today's tour. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. And if you want to talk at all about a possible move to Denver, I do specialize, well not specialize, but most of my YouTube is dedicated towards new construction homes. So feel free to reach out. I'd love for you to leverage the relationships I have built through doing as much work as I've done with these builders, with these sales reps. I can't make any promises over the phone. Uh, or <laughs> Well, I guess through the phone, yes, but through uh, on the internet about what I can or can't do. But I've got a great track record of negotiating great deals and incentives for my clients just because of my experience and the relationships I have in this space. Uh, so feel free to reach out. And if you're considering a resale home, I of course do that as well. Most of my YouTube is just dedicated towards new builds because they're so darn pretty. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.